The library is the centerpiece of Hubei Normal University. The axis of the university runs from the East Gate through the Tower of Time to the library at the western end. The library itself is a very large building with 45,000 square meters of area. The holdings are approximately 3 million volumes to which are added each year about 100,000 new books. There are about 2,400 periodicals held in the library and more than 100 newspapers both from within China and outside of China. With that introduction, let's go inside the library. Well, we're now inside the library and you can see that it is indeed very beautiful, very spacious. We're on the second floor the first floor has study areas as well, but the books that are housed there tend to be rather old, before 2006. Down toward the far end, down there, we're going down there in a few moments, and you'll see some of the 5,000 desks where you can study and carry out some of your own work. We'll see some of the 500 computer terminals. So let's go down there now, and you can see some of the places where you might actually want to do your work. The library has decided on a new high-tech solution to keep the library quiet and peaceful during the stressful exam period. As you enter the library, you'll find a machine that assigns you a space where you can work in peace. You use your library card and the machine then allows you to choose an area where you prefer to work, second floor, third floor, or in the periodical area. You follow the instructions, the machine assigns you a workspace which is then yours, provided you are not absent for too long. Okay, we've just been into one of the special areas and you can see that there are many people. There are many simple desks. We're now going to go into the next room on the side here where you can see that there are periodicals. After that, we'll go down to the place where you can actually borrow books. We're now in one of the areas where the holdings of the library are actually kept and are accessible to everyone who comes in here. As you can see, there are many hundreds of books. I said before that there are three million books in all in the library. Let's say that I want to borrow this book. I get it off the shelf and I take it to this machine over here. I place my university card here and place my book here, and then follow the instructions on the terminal. In these pictures here, you can see two machines that can be used for reading newspapers in the library. The newspapers are actually taken from databases, but they're very frequently updated, so you can get a sampling of quite recent news. 
The newspapers on these machines are strictly in Chinese. There's no English or other languages available. But should you wish to come over and use the Chinese newspapers to practice your Chinese, this is an excellent place to do so. We're here on the third floor, and you can see that there's a large number of computer terminals available here. In fact, there are almost 500 terminals. You can use these for going on the web, for using databases, or in fact anything else that you would use a computer for. In the library, you can use your university card to carry out a number of functions in the library that you may want to use with the university holdings. In particular, you can use these machines to copy, to scan items, and to do printing. We are now on the fourth floor in what about to enter one of the specialized areas. In particular, the area behind us now is in the area of history. But before we go in there, I thought it would be very interesting for you to see the wall behind me here and an opposite wall that you can't yet see. You'll notice that all of these characters are Tu Shu and they all cover about the last 3000 years and show us the way the characters have changed over the years. Some of these you may recognize, some of them you may not. Some you will even see on the Provincial Library, which is over near the Provincial Museum. Here we are on the fourth floor of the library, outside one of the special collection areas. You can see from the sign above me that this is the collection area for history. Inside here there are a wide variety of books that can be used for various specialized areas of historical research. And in a particular area off to the side is a collection of particularly old and ancient books. Throughout the library, you've probably noticed that there are many things that represent Chinese culture. Here on this wall, I want to show you some calligraphy written by Wang Xizhi, who was a very famous person in Chinese literature and a famous Chinese calligrapher. This wall is here in the library to represent the library's dedication to Chinese culture and to edu education and the preservation of knowledge. So here we are on the fifth floor of the library in one of the reading areas. You can see that there's a different kind of table here, very comfortable. Let me just give you a recapitulation of everything we've seen here. First of all, the library is situated on the new campus of the Hubei Normal University. 
It has a total of 45,000 square meters of using usable area, 3 million volumes going from very old to very new. 100,000 new ones are bought each year. There are something like 2,400 journals and those are available to everybody. There are many areas in the library which are accessible for students to come in and study. There are 5,000 tables, desks, places you can work at your own pace, do what you want. There are 500 computer terminals. Some of them are very specialized and can be used to access certain databases. The terminals in general can be used to go on the web, to surf the web, and to access the databases within the, the library system. There are five floors in the library. The first floor is a study area. The books there are mainly before the year 2006. On the second floor, you can study at your own pace, you can borrow books, you can use your university card to photocopy, to do printing, to borrow, to return books. The entire system is based upon a management system which uses a, an RFID, a radio frequency identification device. It's your university card. It can be used throughout the library to access virtually anything within the library system. Finally, let me tell you something about the databases and the other electronic sources of information that are available. First of all, there are 12 very large databases focusing mainly on Chinese materials. Chinese science materials, arts, literature, culture, and so on. Twelve of these. In addition to the twelve primarily Chinese materials, there are eleven from overseas, particularly American, some German. Eleven of these which are updated very regularly, and those are the places where you will find information on the most recent publications, etc., from outside of China. In addition, there are many magazines and journals. These, in total, are over 17,000 that you can access in the reading rooms, on the computers, on the databases. I think you can see at this point that the library has many things to offer everybody who is at the university for studying, for relaxing, for working at their own pace. The library is open to everybody who has a university card and you are all welcome to come whenever you wish to work on your own, to use the books, or whatever you may want to use in the library.